I've arrived at my first location. It's our big Walmart. I'm scared to death. To be honest, like, you shouldn't be afraid to go into the Walmart. I Morning Seekers, I'm glad you found us today. It's Friday, it's day eight of social distancing. And it's the day I've been dreading all week. Today I've gotta to go to the shops. So Dave actually was able to find us some milk and bread last night, but there's still a lot more things on our list for this coming two weeks that we need. Also Dave's mom messaged me this morning saying she was gonna to go to the shops and I said, uh-uh, 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 no, no, no. We shall go to the shops for you. So now I also have not only my list, I've got my mother-in-law's list as well. Also, I'm not sure I really want her. Oh my gosh, we still have all of our earthquake crap in here. Oh my heck. It's like we threw, okay, anyway, I look death. Wow, that's insane. No wonder we have no blankets in the house. I don't have time to deal with that right now. Anyway, I don't know that I want her to know the current state of affairs to the degree that she would know if she tried to go to the shops. She sent me her list and I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find anything on that list. So I'm gonna need some prayers. I'm gonna say a prayer before I go. I'm probably gonna have to visit a lot of stores. <sighs> we can do this. We can do this. Anyway, oh man, my eyes. I only got four hours of sleep. I stayed up till 2 a.m. editing because I'm trying to catch up on vlogs so that the, my vlogs are relevant. I'm literally posting dance competition vlogs in the middle of all of this pandemic stuff. And I'm sure probably some people are like, oh, yay, dance competition. Let's think about something else for a minute. And other people are like, dude, we don't care about that. <laughs> so for my sake, I have to do it because, first of all, there's a lot to the story with Ridge and Ronnie in all of those. And also, it's just really interesting to me to see like we didn't even know what was coming you know we were just living our lives having fun and now I'm editing these and just crying knowing that pretty much our dance competition season is over I'm losing all of my dance photography jobs I've got big dance bills that I've got to pay that I usually pay with those that are going to be looming next month and no way to pay them and I'm facing some really tough stuff this morning I'm feeling a little bit of the overwhelm so focusing on getting these groceries at the shops is going to help me think of something else. But looking at this chaos in the back, if that tells you what is happening in my brain, that's more like what it looks like. I'm trying to hold it together for my kids and my mother-in-law. Wish me luck. I've arrived at my first location. It's our big Walmart. I've avoided this place like the plague since this whole thing has started. We've only shopped at the neighborhood grocery Walmart because this big, huge one, I've been really avoiding. But there is a reason that I'm coming here. Number one, I have to go to as many shops as I can and find this stuff. Number two, I'm hoping, hoping beyond hope that I can find the thing that Ruby wants for her birthday. I don't really have time for that. See, that's the problem. I have so much I need to get done in one, like, shop. And I, like, I'm scared to death. To be honest, like, you shouldn't be afraid to go into the Walmart. But I am sitting here in my car, like, afraid afraid to go into the Walmart, but I have to do it. Oh, and I have to not touch my face. Oh, I gotta remember. Now I did bring with me the only thing that I could bring for sanitizing <laughs> my bleach water. Thank you, mama, for bringing me bleach. It's sure saving my sanity. So I brought my, dang it, don't cry. I'm fine. Crap. I brought my bleach water and a towel so that I can clean off the grocery packages before I give them to my mother-in-law. But I'm really hoping I find this one item for my daughter because if her birthday gets wrecked, she's only turning seven. She just doesn't understand. She already is having a hard time wrapping her brain around the fact that we can't go shopping on a shopping spree like she wanted to. She wanted to go um, thrift, shores, thrift store shopping for her birthday and that's not gonna happen now. So I'm trying to make it as fun as I possibly can. So I wanted to check this big Walmart, see if they had the thing that she really wants. Anyway. 
deep breath. Going in. Well, that's a good sign. It's literally what I'm looking for. chicken nuggets, so that's pretty good. Still no paper products, though. The aisle is pretty bare. And the, like, pastaroni stuff, hamburger helper. Thankfully, not looking forward to that. Really helping me today. Look, you guys, one can of cream of mushroom left, and that's all she asked for. Woot! Pasta, though. Plenty of cereals. Look at my cart, it's getting so full. Oh. oh my gosh. You know when I went to the toy section for a second, I forgot it was a pandemic and I like got all excited about Ruby's birthday and Easter and was looking at all the cute stuff and I've just, then I remembered, oh my gosh, don't dawdle, you've got to get your butt out of here. Sad, anyway. It was sad to see the fear in a lot of people's eyes. I tried to smile at everybody as much as I could. I said hello to as much people as I dared, but one girl I said hello to, she came right up in my face and was like, hi, and I'm like, um, you have a nice name. I have to go. And she worked at Walmart. She was one of the employees. I just was gonna ask her what her name was because it was so pretty. Anyway, and then I'm like, okay, I got this. I can handle it. Try not to touch my face, you know trying to open those plastic bags, the grocery bags, without licking your finger. That was fun times. And it was fine until I get to the checkout line. So a checkout opens up, and so I veer out of the big line that I'm in and get in that line. Still takes a million years. And, of course, I'm running two separate transactions, so I felt sorry for the people behind me. The guy was bagging, like, slower than anyone I've ever seen bag at Walmart in my life. And putting random things not in bags, like my bags of chicken. And you gotta know it's strange when you're not worried about your bags of raw chicken dripping on your produce, cause that's less scary than the guy touching it. And I'll tell you guys what, he's in the middle of bagging, he gets almost to the end of my groceries, which is where all my fresh produce is. Now I bagged up all of it, except for like the bag of green beans that was in its own bag and the cauliflower that was wrapped in plastic. And I was really wishing that I had put the cauliflower in a bag, but because this guy like, so right before he goes to check my produce, I see him full on wipe his nose and go like that and then reach down to grab my stuff. And my whole stomach just lurched. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I'm like, it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm just going to wash these when I get home anyway. I kid you not. He picks up the bag of green beans. And apparently it was open. And he dumps some of them out onto the, you know, a scale thing in front of him. Goes, oh, sorry. Picks them all back up. Puts them back in the bag. And the whole time I'm just like, don't vomit, don't vomit, don't vomit. Don't say anything to this poor kid. He's like, oh, sorry, you know, zip, zips up the bag. And I'm thinking, how am I getting that clean? Uh, maybe I'm throwing beans out. Maybe I don't need them that bad. Uh, and then to top it all off, that made him nervous, I guess. So he does a full on swipe of his sweaty forehead and then picks up my cauliflower. Guys. It was literally like being in a nightmare. And now I've got all this fresh produce in the back of my van and I'm going, do I really want that? Or do I want to just throw it out? I'm thinking, how do I sanitize green beans? I don't know. 
Maybe I'll just soak them in a bunch of soapy water and then rinse them off. Yeah. Anyway. Good news is, though, I was able to find every single thing on my mother-in-law's list in this store. So someone up there is definitely looking out for me. I don't have to go to another store. So I'm just going to head to her house and dump it on the porch. She was going to give me money or her debit card, but now I'm like, I don't even want to, like, actually associate with her. I don't want to risk. I just went to Walmart, and I, oh, I'm, I, like, I'm trying not to throw up. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I may just say, hey, you can pay us back later and just leave it on the porch. I don't know. Anyway, heading over to do that. And then I didn't buy any of the frozen stuff that I need on my list. So I'm going to go through my list again and see if I'm going to go back out again. Because they had a lot of it. I just didn't, I didn't want to put it in the cart. The only thing they didn't have was toilet paper, paper towels, um, and chicken nuggets. I made it to Graham's. I can't take her groceries up on. She put money for me on the door. So I'm going to take her groceries up there. Drop them off. Now she wants to give me more money, so I, I can't stop her. And I'm waiting for her to do that, and then I'm gonna get out of here. Take a chance and wait. Stay light as a feather, a feather. Say. With my attempt washing my poor green beans, I'm gonna use good old Dawn. It's good for everything, right? Safe birds. It's gotta save my beans. Can eat it, sure. Yeah. Doesn't taste very good. No, it's not poison. The exhaustion is starting to hit me now. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. I literally just finished eating my first food of the day. <laughs> And I'm contemplating all the things I should be doing and could be doing. And really, I just want to nap. But I can't because i got to go feed the chickens. I really should fold this giant mountain of laundry in front of me that has regrown. Uh, this is hard, you guys. Like, I almost think, like, if we were called into battle and we were, like, filled with that excitement and, then, like, you know... Get up and go would be almost easier to force yourself to do than just this blob of staying in one place for so long, especially being an extrovert. It's just like, you know, people used to give me a hard time about going to the dance studio every day. They didn't understand it. But, well, the reason I went is because I need people. So, yeah, it's hard to be here. But we're making it work because we really don't have any choice. All right, I found myself drifting off to sleep, so I dragged myself out of bed to quickly come out and feed these chickens before it gets dark. Because, you know, they don't like to be forgotten about. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Let's move along here. Move it along, move it along, move it along. Well, hello. These are the, my, my baby chickens, they got wings. They fly, don't you, babes? That's why you're always up here. Yeah. Let's check the food situation. Looks like they could use some today. It's been raining and it is muddy. Alright. That's why the food's underneath the hen house. There we go. And I'm gonna throw out some scratch to keep them busy. And I also like to get some up here in the rocks to make sure that they get plenty of grit in their systems. Well, this just kind of gives them something to search for, you know? They're bored too, just like us. Here in our uh, relative quarantine. Oh, don't see that very much anymore. Not very many planes going by. Seems kind of like a strange sight. Airplane. Oh, a little gimpy. You look like you're feeling a little better, huh? You feeling a little better? Yeah, look at that. Geez, her foot looks like it's almost healed up. Wowzers. Chickens are crazy like that. Like, they can heal so fast. 
I really thought she was a goner. Well, look at that. Looking great. One well, summer egg. Oops. I didn't just crack it. I think I'd never done this before. Let me look at a in here. No birds sitting on the eggs, so I'm just going to go ahead and take those in and risk eating them because I don't think they really ever got sat on. That's not even a heart one. Oh, yeah, it is. Heart one. To the two. Now we're left. 13, 14, 15. Woot! 15 in a day. New record for this year. We've had up to 30 before. Let's see what happens. Boss baby, huh? Is it fun? You guys having a lot of fun on your vacation? Awesome. But where do you think you're going? Wow, you washed your hands a good long time. Yeah? You what? You still have soap on them? How much soap did you use, man? <laughs> Oh my heck. Okay, get it cleaned off there, dude. Try up. Oh my heck, trying to have prayers with these people. Okay, come on, let's hurry them before they lose their minds. Ruby, will you say the prayer, please? Yeah, I will help you. Stop it. <laughs> Jasper, it's been a day, huh? Have you had a bit good time doing nothing but playing? Yeah. Do you like being just home and not going anywhere? Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling? You feeling any better? Not a fever. And you have no more asthmas? You still having a cough? No? Good. I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better. That's awesome. Well, it's probably time that we go to bed, huh? And say goodnight to the Seekers? What do you think? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And seek your truth. And seek your truth. Bye, Seekers. Find us later.